why can't it all just be green? Of course, we're talking about engine coolant, or antifreeze, but why are there so many different kinds? The idea behind coolant is simple. Something needs to absorb the heat from the engine, carry it to the radiator, and release it to the air. Water seems like the perfect solution, but water isn't perfect. Depending on the source, water can leave mineral deposits in the cooling system, which can affect coolant flow and cause corrosion and seal damage. Even treated clean tap water may contain chemicals such as chlorine and chloride, which are corrosive to aluminum. And then there's that little problem called freezing. How do we fix all this trouble with water? With antifreeze coolant. When mixed with water, the coolant lowers the freezing point, solving one problem but coolant also raises the boiling point, which improves cooling system performance. The other benefit to coolant is the additives. All coolants are formulated with anti-corrosive additives to prevent corrosion of metallic engine components. They also contain additives to slow down bacterial buildup, which can occur with water and eventually contaminate the system. For many years, all we had was green. The color was chosen so it wouldn't be mistaken for other vehicle fluids. It was primarily ethylene glycol, and it worked great, but it was extremely toxic, so propylene glycol antifreeze was introduced as a less toxic option. Ethylene glycol, however, has much better heat transfer properties and a higher boiling point. Over the years, coolant formulations have changed to meet the demands of newer vehicles as the metals and materials used in engines and cooling systems has evolved over time. Each vehicle manufacturer specifies the coolant that is designed to work in their vehicles, and it's important to follow these guidelines to prevent damage to the engine or cooling system components. Along with different formulations came different colors so you don't accidentally mix coolants. No two can be mixed without affecting the chemical properties of the coolant, which will result in reduced performance and the potential for sludge formation and serious engine damage. Just when you thought there couldn't be any other problems with water, there is. Contamination can affect its electrolytic properties, which may directly affect temperature sensing components, and today's vehicles rely on the accuracy of these sensors for efficient operation. The best option is to use pre-mixed 50-50 antifreeze to eliminate the chance of contaminated water getting into the system. Thanks for watching.